Welcome to the Sorensen 360 demo video. When you start up Squeeze for the first time, you'll see this pop-up window which asks for your 360 account information. If you don't have an account, you can sign up here. I already have one, so I'll go ahead and sign in. If you hit Verify Access, you can make sure the 360 server accepts your account information. Hit OK, then OK, and we're ready to go. Over here, you can see the 360 Publish presets that come with your account. I've got Flash 6, Flash 8, and MPEG-4 presets. Not only do you see the 360 presets under the Sorensen 360 view, but also under Formats as well as Workflow Views. We'll put it back to 360. Now that we're all set up, let's go through the 360 workflow. First, import a source video. Let's use this Caveman one here. Next, apply a 360 audience preset. Let's use this Flash 8 large preset. After we hit Apply, it appears in the batch window under the source file. Here we can see the video and audio codecs, as well as the thumbnail marker. You can choose a thumbnail by moving the marker on the timeline. We can also see the 360 published preset and account information here. Now just hit Squeeze it, and the file will start encoding. After it's done encoding, it will be uploaded to the 360 content management system automatically. Once that's all done, we can click this button here to go to the 360 CMS. I'll go ahead and log in. The first page we are taken to is the videos page. It has all the videos I've uploaded. Here we can change the view by display type or status as well as sort by date, title, or number of views. Here's the video we've just uploaded. You can see it has a flash icon letting us know it's a flash video. This one has an MP4 icon here. Under the icon, we can see the number of views, the title, who uploaded it, and the status. Let's go ahead and take a look at the video. We can view it here in the 360 media player. This button lets us watch it in full screen. This button will give you the option to send a permalink to someone. Over here, there's also an embed code which will allow others to place this video on their web pages. Notice that you can edit your title and the description on this page. And over here, you have many different sized embed codes to best match the native resolution of your video. Over here, we have some information about the settings used to encode this video. You can even download the squeeze preset itself. This is very useful if you like the look of this video and want to use the same preset again or if you want to send the preset to someone so they can achieve similar results. Down here are the syndication controls for this video. If I click the retire button, the video will be instantly taken down from anywhere on the web I've published it, even if it's gone viral and has been embedded on a thousand different websites. I can also delete the video or return it to its live status. Here we can see the analytics for this video. Right now, we see there is one view from when we just played it. We can take a look at the full metrics for the video here. Here is our one view today. Let's go up to the main metrics page. Here we can look at a graph of the total views of all of our videos. We can change the date range of the graph here. Let's go back to January. You see if I mouse over the chart, we can see the amount of views for each specific date. Down here, we can track our most popular and least popular videos. This is a great way to see how your content is performing. We can also click on any of our videos down here to see a detailed summary of the metrics of each particular video. We can even see which parts of our video were viewed and for how long down here. This is the players page. You can choose which player you want from the choices here. Right now I have the charcoal as my default player. I can simply click here and make the titanium player the default. Now let's go back and look at the video page. All my videos are now using the titanium player. The encode page provides another great way to add videos to your 360 account our easy-to-use browser-based encoder. You can choose high-quality webcam capture, or you can select a source file you want to encode. You can simply drag and drop files onto the encoder as well. Then just choose which preset to use, and the video will be encoded and added to your 360 account. 360 runs the squeeze encoding engine right in your web browser, so you can expect the highest quality video encoding, just like you get from Squeeze.
This last page is the account page. It will let you know how many streams have been used, how much storage you're using, what subscription you have, and your personal information. Notice our pricing plans are based on easy to understand terms like how many times your videos are viewed each month rather than more complicated calculations such as gigabytes of bandwidth used. Usability is very important to us and that includes understanding how much you're paying each month. For those of you who have a WordPress blog, we have a 360 plugin for WordPress. You can download it at wordpress.org. Once it's installed, you will see a Sorensen 360 section under your settings. You just need to enter your username and password and you're all set up. This page down here will be updated soon with a readme file with some answers to common questions. Now that you're all set up, just make a new post and you'll see this 360 icon here. If you click it, you will see a list of all your videos. You can choose the embed size in this drop-down box. After you click Add to Post, you will see the thumbnail of your video in the body of the blog posting. You can add text, then click Publish when you're all done, and your video will appear on your blog. Wasn't that easy? For more information on Sorensen 360 and Squeeze, please visit www.sorensenmedia.com.